Nigeria Anglican Communion. Diocesan Board Meeting on December 2nd, 2022 at the Dunamis Chapel. You have Potter Ushiekiti by 11 a.m. Welcome address slash vision 2023 presented by the Right Reverend Isaac Olatunde Olubowale Bishop Dio. Welcome. In the name of Christ, we welcome you individually and collectively to this meeting. We thank God for safe journey. We appreciate you for your commitment to God in times like this. Your choice to be here at this stringent condition is mark of your honor of God and the church. Welcome and God bless you. Amen. Introduction to the meeting. We acknowledge with sincere and deep appreciation your prayers, encouragement and support in the man management of this diocese. The House of Clergy, House of Lady, Duke Officials, Board Members, Bishops, Nominees, Headquarters Staff, the President of the Women and Guest Organizations, that's my wife, the Evangelist Mrs. Margaret Olufunke Olubowale, and all Executive Members of that arm of our church, clergy wives, and lay members. All communities in the old and churches, other organizations, youths and parachurches, we equally appreciate you for your cooperation and contributions to God's mandate through this diocese, especially in the year 2022. God bless you. The third session of the sixth synod. Theme Good name is better. Text Proverbs 22, verse 1, with reference to Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 1, was held between 28th and 31st July 2021. 22. We hosted, well hosted by the Dean, the very Reverend Samson, Ulukumi Umitadi, and the people of God of the Cathedral Church of St. Andrew, Ushi Ekuti, and the community. On behalf of Dio Synod, we say thank you and God bless for all you did to his glory. Issues raised at the Synod. The Ossesan challenges, you find that in the Bishop's Church from page 32. Synod theme from the introduction on page 39. Integrity and character on page 43. The four Ds on page 45. The Synod theme and Nigeria from pages 50 to 55. Three, what we need, you have that on page 68. <coughs> we need a worked out strategies for restructuring our lives, churches, society, ministry, and beat the quasi development looming. Unquote. Four, the O, the O, sowing for the future generations. Establishment of OCA Education Center. Paper presented, adopted for use by Mr. Mike Olajide. You find that on pages 128 to 
2023. One. National elections. See details in the timetable and schedule of activities for 2023 general synod, uh, general elections. That's the other paper you have with you. Mine is colored but I hope you all have it. Please, it is part of our religiosity to know these things and to really guide people about it. The elections is not just for politicians. Of course, we know the level we are now, and that will guide us in our prayers. Two, the 2023 Synod. First session of the seventh Synod will be our election year. Theme, renew the mind. Text, Romans 12, 2. Venue, St. John's Anglican Church, Ilukweju Ekiti. Host, Ilukweju Ajikinri. Date, Thursday 27th to Sunday 30th July 2023. Preacher, the Right Reverend Andrew Lushola Ajayi, Bishop Ekiti Diocese. Bible Study Leader, the Right Reverend Dr. Cornelius O. Adabada, Bishop Ekiti West Diocese. Please pray along. Three, the year 2023, as predicted, shall be the year for the vigilant, the witty, and the ingenuous. Four, the challenge the church faces in making positive impact in the church and the society. I want somebody to really read the passages. Number one challenge is that we are in the last days. Second Timothy 3, 1 to 5. Can somebody quickly read that? Second Timothy 3, 1 to 5. But notice that in the last days, Perilous times will come. For men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, without self control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, haughty, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Having a form of godliness, but denying its power, and from such people turn away. Number two challenge that the church faces in making positive impact in the church and in the society is dangerous Christianity and paralyzing membership. We have example of that in Romans chapter 10, verses 2 and 3. For I, for I dare them that they have a zeal of God, but do not according to knowledge, for they being ignorant of God's righteousness, and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. These are the two factors that we have challenging us on having positive impact. The Roman 10, 2 and 3 read do manifest five elements inimical in any form of growth and development. Let's take note of them. They have a witness that they have what? Verse 2. 
Disciple-making movement will be given priority of place, with attention given to three areas of discipleship movement. Thus, one, disciplined daily devotion. That we call it the three Ds. <clears throat> we pray each one of us will key into that. This begins with intimacy with Jesus Christ, our relationship with Jesus Christ. Two, family discipleship, emphasizing personal work with Jesus in our family relationships. Three, mentoring, different from leadership. It is relationship which involves investing in another person's life not only within the church but in our various areas of assignments in business in office everywhere four twenty twenty three due hallmark qualitative assessment and not quantitative will be. We desire to be to be a disciple making diocese, being people focused to affect our lives, homes, communities, state, the nation, and the world at large. Like Jesus, it will be intentional, relational, transformational, and missional. Congratulations and condolences. We congratulate our members for various achievements and laurels won. Baba Emeritus Professor Israel Eson Wulabi, congratulations. Venerable and Mrs. Shagun Akande, congratulations. Uh, their daughter is now 
huh? a medical doctor and serving in Lagos State University teaching hospital. Then, um, Gregor and Mrs. I. O. I. No, their daughter finished from the law school and will be called to bar this month, two days to come. Um, Reverend Omo Yeni finished his master's degree in Ajayi Crowder. There are more, there are more. We also commiserate with the families of the deceased. The late Are Ayo Ogulade, the late Reverend Matthew Olu Adelaye, who passed on on Monday, 20th November 2022, and others. Rest eternal, grant them, O oh Lord. Amen. In conclusion, Beloved people of God, this meeting is solution-oriented meeting. What type of meeting? Solution-oriented meeting. To set our goals, objectives, and strategies. They are doable <coughs> under God if we act so. What is act so? That is, we become available, committed, transparent, solution oriented, and obedient. Barnabas, Paul, and the church in Acts chapter 4 is a good case study for us. Let us say the prayer together. Lord, in this new and last month, I put my life in your hands and commit myself and family to following you wholeheartedly from today. Let fear be defeated and let faith be over. Amen. I remain your bishop, brother, friend, and co-missioner. God bless.